Hey guys, Stuart Donaldson here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Man Up by Vedros Koulian. It's his first book and the title might be a bit triggering for you, but if it is, then you definitely need to read this book. So stay tuned. Now I've actually been following Vedros for a fair few years now. Uh, back in the late, 20, late 2000s, uh, he was obviously getting started as, a, as an internet, internet coach and authority in the fitness field. Uh, he's since launched uh, his big franchise company called Fit Body Bootcamp. Uh, he's launched the Mastermind, Empire Mastermind uh, with his, his colleague and his mate Craig Valentine and they have the Empire Podcast. And Vedros has really become a, a empire building, business building, uh, personal development thought leader and is uh, really fantastic. So get on him on, on Instagram, on YouTube, on, on all the socials. There's some really good content there. Uh, but for now, let's talk about his book, Man Up. Now, man up doesn't mean become a man or turn into a man, but it talks about stepping up and taking responsibility for yourself uh, and for your life and, and leading and becoming a leader and leading by example. And that's what manning up is all about. Now, for those unfamiliar with Vedros, he arrived in the USA as an immigrant when he was really little, didn't speak any English, uh, and his family were, were really, really poor. And, and that's obviously one of his, his key driving factors for, for why he has become so, so successful uh, as, an, as an adult and as a, as a businessman. Uh, and very briefly, he talked about his journey into fitness. Uh, when he started, there was a, a girl at school that he wanted to ask to prom. Uh, he was overweight and, like he said, wasn't very attractive. So he got into the gym, started pumping some iron uh, with the intention of being able to ask that girl out. Um, he did get fit. He did lose the weight. But uh, if you want to find out whether he got the girl, you're going to have to read the book. Now, as always, with books like these, the author talks about his um, his previous, not his previous life, but his early life, his struggles in business and with family, and and uh, Badres talks about um, you know struggles with business partners and uh, the, the difficult times he had during the 2008-2009 global financial crisis. Now the book's broken down into three sections: leading yourself, your vision and your path, and then building elite teams. Badres writes about the six pillars to effective entrepreneurship, and they are number one: self-discipline. Having the self-discipline to train your body, train your mind, eat healthy, get up early, do all the things that you need to do before you can worry about other people. Pillar number two is to have clear and effective communication so that everyone can know what to expect and everyone knows what the mission is. Pillar number three is decisiveness. How are you gonna get somewhere? Are you gonna walk? Are you gonna get a car? Are you gonna get an Uber? Doesn't matter, make a decision. What are you gonna eat? Doesn't matter, make a decision. What are you gonna wear? Does not matter, make a decision. Use your mental energy for the big decisions that are actually gonna matter in life. And for those small incidental decisions, just make a decision quickly. At the end of the day, it's not gonna make a difference. Pillar number four is to have emotional resistance so that when the stuff hits the fan, uh, you are able to maintain your focus and keep pushing forward on your path to your greater mission. Pillar number five is to have clarity of vision so that you know what you want your team knows what you want, and every single action that you take moves you closer to that goal, and you don't get sidetracked by shiny objects that are floating around. And pillar number six is to build a high performance team. If you wanna be a successful entrepreneur, you cannot do it by yourself, but hiring the right people can be a headache. Badrus talks about hiring team members, not just employees. You want people who are as driven for your vision as you are not people who just check in and check out and collect their paycheck. The first big key takeaway for me from this book is to work out, are you a fighter jet or are you a crop duster? Now obviously fighter jets are sleek and mean and fast and they're laser focused, whereas crop dusters are slow and clunky and they just spray their junk everywhere. So you need to work out which type of mindset you have, which type of person you have, because obviously people who are focused on their mission are gonna be the ones that are successful. So be a fighter jet. The second key takeaway for me was, are you taking ownership and focusing on yourself first? Now, Bedros talks about uh, in the early 2010s uh, when his business was breaking down uh, and first of all, took responsibility of himself before he looked at the wider team. So that's my key takeaway there, is take responsibility for yourself first. And the third takeaway for me from this book is, is the question, uh, who are you going to serve besides yourself? Now there's a saying, if you go with a giving hand, you'll receive much more uh, in return. And you need to think about not just yourself and, and your family, um, but how can you serve other people so that at the end of the day, you'll be rewarded for, for your services. So overall guys, that's my review of Man Up by Bedros Koulian. Highly, highly recommend this book. Even if you're not into the fitness space, uh, there's a lot of lessons in here for, for business 
and for life. So let me know what you think about think about the book in the comments below. Uh, do you have some different takeaways from the book? Did you agree with what I said? Do you hate the title? If you hate the title, let me know below. And we can have a chat about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel. That way, whenever any other book reviews come out, you can uh, find out about what's working uh, in the self-development book space at the moment. But for now, guys, take care. Have a great day.